Welcome back to Flashback Friday. Hi, I'm D-Dog. This is Teacher Reacts. In my class where I play music videos, and I right to my channel. This is also Flashback Friday, which is basically where we look at old songs, older stuff. They have to be at least five years old. This one in particular is 10 years old. This, by the way, is Lynn featuring Leo of Vix. And we know that Vix, if you know my backstory in K-pop, Vix is one of the main three groups that I got into. This was probably like the second group I got into super, super uh, much. And Leo in particular was my that was my bias still is my bias he's still a part of it even though it's only like three members now instead of the full six but still uh i really enjoy leo's voice but i've loved seeing his journey from like uh the older songs that he did to like stuff nowadays because it really was like a, a, a coming out of your shell sort of thing uh, that's a that's a story for another time though lynn on the other hand is somebody who's been around a while apparently and this song I'm not going to say is their biggest hit, but I looked at the discography of Lynn and uh, does seem like this one was the highest charting one. So like maybe this was like the biggest hit from them. I don't know. I do know that I love this song because it's a great ballad. So we're going to hop into this. If you like this video, click like button. Make sure to yourself. As always, subscribe. We're on the road to 2K and I'd love for you to join this lovely family of people. We're not a family. That's, you know what I mean? Community. That's the word. Not family. That's weird. I don't want to call us family. Feels very Walmarty. <laughs> oh man. Did I ever mention how much I loved how reserved his voice is? He knows how to use lower register stuff. And also he has a very breathy tone, which I enjoy. It really I don't know what the word is. It works well with ballads because then when he wants to go higher, he can like real belt. Meanwhile, you have Lynn who has a refined vocal. I love the strings following that melody. Lil Belt. Lil Bit. Then we got chorus. Good. It's a nice soaring note. That part. I love that she goes down then up, and as she's going down, the strings are going up. Great. I love her vibrato, too. She has a lot of vibrato in her singing. It's gonna be a deep cut, but there are some English singers that I listen to that have a fuck ton of vibrato. Think like Reba McIntyre, and like I love that type of singing. Oh, that part! Listen to the harmony. I love that he's under her there. Oh, it's so good. Ah, oh, it's good. I love you. Contrasting dueling vocals. I love it. It's like a conversation going back and forth between each member. Mm, so fucking good. Singer. Piano is so pretty under him right now. And under her. Mm. Good shit. Ah, oh, so good. Yeah, there you go. I'm so engrossed in the song. I haven't talked about the music video at all. I've seen this music video a million times. You know, he done do a murder and everything, but still. That tiny bit of guitar. It's so hard to not sing to this song. 
It's on one of my karaoke games that I uh, that I play, and it is like the guitar that you're hearing now. It has that movement that really helps with ballads moving forward in a song. But you know what helps movement even more? Having a lot of the space of the song taken up by vocals that are going one and then the other, then the other, then the other. There's a lot of parts of the song when they're not doing their own respective vocals. There's a lot of parts of the song where they're not doing their own respective vocals, where instead they're going back and forth with each other, where like one person will do one thing, one person will do another, and then you'll have them singing back and forth and one person ad-libbing while another person's doing actual phrases, or it's vice versa in the other way. That drives this song forward. It gives that, that sense of urgency it needs, where really you're not caught in like a slog. You're caught in something better. I love the little outro, by the way, that he does at the end there that I talked over. Like, do I know what they're saying in this? No, not off the top of my head right now. I know I've looked it up a few times, but there is no captions on this. I think that this is a great way to showcase both of their singing. But once again, I came to the song because of Leo. Leo is my favorite in Vix. And I've done many of his stuff in, on my channel before. Go watch the losing game. Uh reaction that I did I think that he has really grown from uh the beginning of his uh k-pop journey to nowadays so that's pretty much all I have a nice short romp through a really pretty ballad that I hope you all enjoy as well let's go into outro time if you like this video click the like button make sure to so comment and subscribe we have a little community here and I would love for you to join if you comment I'm sure I will comment back or at least you put a heart on it if I've read it there's not been a comment in the last six months that I haven't put a heart on I promise you I see every single thing you say now uh besides that we're on the road to 2k and I'd love you to subscribe that means you could stick along every single week You'll have a flashback Friday and then four other current songs, at least four. Recently, it's been like eight in a flashback Friday because like there's been a lot of stuff being released recently. Lots of good K-pop nowadays. And I would love for you to be a part of the discovery of those K-pop songs that I've been doing. For now though, we're gonna go ahead and see you all next week. Let me give you a little taste of what's to come next week. Next week is going to be, oop, oop. Ooh, a girl group. We haven't done one of those in a while. I guess I'll see you all then. Goodbye, everybody.